The upcoming Warner Brothers DC film Wonder Woman has started shooting and will continue principal photography on location in France, Italy, and the UK over the next few months. The production released this first official photo from the film, which you can see right here. Wonder Woman is currently scheduled to release on June 22nd, 2017. John, what do you think of this first official image from Wonder Woman? I don't like it. I'm, I'm a little bit underwhelmed by it as a first image. You know, if this was a part of a collection of images that came out, mm. I'd say it's it's an interesting photo. It is. What's really cool about it, what I really like about it is that you get Big Ben in the I background know, right? there. Mm -hmm. So that's artistically it's a nicely yeah. composed shot, but for me, considering how much a lot of people are looking forward to Wonder Woman and I don't know, this doesn't feel like the first official photo you put out. I, I I don't know. I feel like you do something a little different. There. Let me be clear here. There's nothing wrong with the image. There's nothing wrong with it. Just to me, I'm kind of judging it on the basis of our first official look at Wonder Woman. I thought they could have done something a little bit more than rather hit just in a hood with right. big, where the most interesting thing in the shot is Big Ben blurred out in the background. Like I said, as it's known as a photo, perfectly fine photo, but as the first official one you put out, I would have liked seeing a little something different. Mark, what do you think? I love this photo. I th this was a great first official photo for Wonder Woman because I like how she's looking at us and she's letting us know that, hey, I'm Wonder Woman, but I'm hiding out in this cloak so nobody else knows it's me just yet. She's saving her powers for the movie. I thought this was a really good advertisement for the movie very early on in production. Speaking of production, France, Italy, the UK, I should have been a key grip on this movie. I could have knocked out my entire <laughs> European tour in a month. I really like this because it doesn't give away too much. Now, when we saw that first image of her in Batman, Man v Superman, and it's her in the full Wonder Woman costume, and everybody lost their mind. We don't need to do that again. We don't need right. to make people lose their minds again for a costume we've already seen. I like this new look of Wonder Woman. She looks in control of the situation, and she's hiding. She's waiting to show everybody what she can do. Chef, yeah. what do you think? I love it. I think it, it adds this like mystery to the idea of what this Wonder Woman movie is going to be about. It kind of reminds me of that uh, Natasha Kinski poster, Tess. I don't know if you guys remember. Oh, it's my like, God. It's I'm almost it's, something. Or it could, she could be a Jedi. Just add a saber, and then you have a <laughs> brand new uh, Star Wars Force Awakens poster right there. Um, but I think it looks great. I like that you could barely see Big Ben in the background. It's very subtle. And I like the air of mystery to it. So to me, I, don't, I didn't need to see like a super action pose. In fact, I'm kind of interested to see how they're going to approach Wonder Woman. I keep hearing all these rumors about it's going to jump through time like World War One, World War II, and then, and then be in the present day. I'm really interested to see how they present all of the different mythology. So this just shows that, hey, we're going we're gonna to play with that. And it's not going to just be this like everybody punching each other type thing. So That's right. Well, the other thing to keep in mind, too, what's interesting about this Wonder Woman thing is that when they put out the picture, they also put out the official cast list as well. Mm. And what is surprising in this cast list is that there are several names that we've talked about in the show that were reportedly being attached, or at least were in talks. And it didn't work out because not included in the cast list were most notably Nicole Kidman. That was when they said they were in talks to, to have Nicole Kidman clearly when they, somebody's in talks, that means it ain't a done deal because <laughs> right. that clearly did not work out. She is not there. It, now, what, who they did announce was Robin Wright, which I think is a fascinating choice. I sure. love Robin Wright. Um, she's not just Buttercup anymore. I love <laughs> Robin Wright. And I have to assume, since we never heard her name before, that Robin Wright was the next one in line for the same role that Nicole Kidman. Once again, just making an assumption here, Not this is not sure. from anything official, but I think it's safe to assume that Robin Wright is probably playing the role that Nicole Kidman was going to play. Also, there were talks of Sean Bean mm -hmm. being in the film, not present in the cast list. Uh, and instead of Sean Bean, you've got Danny Houston from, I, I will always think of him as from 30 Days of Night, but then of course he also played uh, Stryker in X-Men uh, Origins Wolverine. Right. So uh, he's a terrific actor, making an assumption that he's probably playing the role that maybe Sean Bean was lined up to play. He probably saw that the character dies and he didn't want to do it again. <laughs> uh, he decided not to be in it. Um, so it's an interesting cast list, but notably from their absence, Sean Bean, Nicole Kidman. What did you think? Of, were you surprised when you saw their names weren't in there? Yeah, and also, I mean, when they announced Sean Bean, they also announced Emily Blunt. So they were like, both of those char the characters they're going to be playing uh, aren't going to be in there. So... I thought, you know, well, yeah, Houston is replacing the Sean Bean character of Ares, and that makes sense. And I'm not sure which uh, actress is going to replace uh, 
uh, the Emily Blunt character. Maybe the Emily Blunt was going to play Artemis. It's hard to really tell. They were all guessing right now. And maybe they are saving a few of the announcements, like as in like how Marvel has announced their cast. They're like, hey, we're shooting this. Here's our main cast. And then like a month later, they're like, we just added this person, and they're shooting. And we just added this person. So it very well could happen that they'll just add more people as they continue on shooting. But this is the initial cast, so I'm kind of guessing that some of those roles that they were in talks with you know, they talk to other people, and these are the people who end up signing. So. Right, and even if you were bummed that you didn't see Nicole Kidman's name on there or Sean Bean's name on there, when you look at Danny Houston and Robin Wright, they're totally going to be a credit to this cast. Yeah. And if Nicole Kidman and Sean Bean do pop up in the movie, I think this indicates it's going to be a smaller role right. than what we thought they might have. Like, you didn't see Sean Connery's name in the Robin Hood Prince of Thieves cast. He pops in for one scene. So if Nicole Kidman in is it, she might have a reduced role as opposed to something which we were speculating a couple weeks ago mm. that, oh, she might be the queen, she might be the mother of Wonder Woman. Now, that doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Right. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.